In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can make this neat little magnetic levitated holder using the ring magnets from your microwave oven magnetron. Now I happen to have a whole bunch of magnetrons, like you see here, which I got from the dump. For this project, you will need three of these magnets, so you're going to have to look for two of these magnetrons. To open these is very simple. Place a screwdriver right along the seam, pry that open. Do the same on this side, pry that open. This whole plate will pull straight out. There's a little metal disc placed on top of the ceramic magnet on top here. And you're going to have to carefully pull that disc off. Once that little silver disc is removed, you can then slide off the magnetron magnet. Once that magnet's removed, you could pull off all of these aluminum cooling fins, throw them to the side, then you could remove the bottom magnet as well. Be very careful, they're ceramic, and if you try prying on these, you will crack them in half. Now to make this holder, it's very simple. You have a magnet attached to the bottom of a PVC cap. This is a 4 inch flat PVC cap. It's a thin wall cap. It's not a thick one. This upper cap here is a flat bottom one and a half inch PVC cap. You have one magnet placed at the top, one at the bottom with felt on it so it doesn't scratch up your desk or anything else. Another magnet is glued to the PVC cap. You have a piece of half inch PVC pipe. That PVC pipe is cut five inches from the very top to the very bottom. The magnetron magnet, there's usually two diameters that you come across. One, the half inch pipe will fit exactly inside the diameter of the ring magnet. Put this on a desk, sit it down. Doesn't make a difference if that's the north side or the south side of the magnet facing. You're going to place it on the desk, insert the PVC pipe, make sure it's nice and square, 90 degrees in relation to the magnet, and glue it in. The glue that I use is E6000, like all my other projects. It's extremely strong. You can see it right there, a little bit of a shine around the bottom. Once that's in, now this bottom piece is nothing more than a piece of felt, and you could either use the E6000, a thin layer, or you could use some rubber cement on both sides and then affix the felt material to the bottom of the ceramic ring magnet. All these little pieces you see here for holding pens and scissors and stuff like that is nothing more than a half inch PVC pipe as well like the one you see here. What I did, I held the ring that I cut which is 3 eighths of an inch thick. I held it against the grinder to make a flat spot Using PVC cement and primer, I glued each ring to the upper edge of the cap. Now there's two sizes of ring magnets that you may come across when you disassemble your magnetron. One, the half inch pipe will fit directly inside of with no problem. And the other, the half inch pipe, may be a little too large in diameter to fit inside the ring magnet. In that case, you could take the end of the PVC pipe, hold it next to a bench grinder, and reduce the diameter of the pipe. You're going to drill a hole in the center of the PVC cap, which is slightly larger than the diameter of the half inch PVC pipe. You're going to line up this magnet so that the two magnets are able to repel each other. Just make sure they're both north or both south facing. The ceramic magnet, just make sure it's glued exactly in the middle of the PVC cap where you drilled the hole for the pipe to pass through. Once this is all complete on the bottom and the PVC cap is slid over the half inch pipe, the next thing you're going to do is install the upper ring magnet. When you install this magnet, make sure it's the same pole on this side as the one on the front side of this cap facing up. When you put the magnet down, you should see the cap push lower. Then you know you have it right. Once that's glued in with E6000 nice and level, you're going to glue on your PVC cap and your project is complete. You can see how nice it's supported. I'll lift it up. Take a look there. If you would like, you could add extra rings, another four, one in between each one of these sets, 
or you can use a smaller diameter plastic pipe to hold smaller objects and glue them in between each one of these four holders. Now for me this is going to go on my desk by my computer but if you'd like you could use this for a workshop you could put magnetic items in here down here you could put non-magnetic items I'll show you with this, I'll put the paper clips they're all, they're all in there, you see it sticks nice that cup is magnetic which is pretty cool put my white out in here put in a pen put in a pair of scissors in there crazy glue throw in a sharpie in the back I have a little stapler I can put that down on the bottom and I can throw some rubber bands right in here move that around like that so it's a neat little thing rather than have magnetron magnets sitting around going to waste I could use it for this I could put a razor blade here if I ever need a razor blade I have it and there you have it I made good use of those magnetron magnets and hopefully you will too if you enjoyed this video please rate it a thumbs up subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs also be sure to check out my video playlist as well thank you very much for watching